All men dream, but not equally. Those who dream by night in the dusty recesses of their minds wake in the day to find that it was vanity. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous men, for they may act their dream with open eyes to make it possible. This I did. Nathan Drake doesn't actually travel here to Jordan in Uncharted 3, um, where you know T.E. Lawrence's house is, is located. Um, but there is a uh, the historical hook that we used is that on Sir Francis Drake's circumnavigation of the world, there is supposedly about six months of unaccounted for time, uh, and we're we're just making up the idea that he actually came here to the Southern Arabian Peninsula uh, where the Crusaders had talked about uh, the lost city of, of uh, Ubar. Ubar and the Ram of the Pillars, city of brass. Why are you here? Why do the English cross the Rub al Khali? They're looking for the lost city of Ubar. The, uh, the tie-in with T.E. Lawrence's house, who, who also had dubbed a possible lost city, uh, you know, hundreds of years later as Atlantis of the Sands. Um, th those are, that's the two historical hooks there. Now, uh, Nathan Drake, who supposes he is the descendant of Sir Francis Drake, is worked with T. Lawrence, who are, also went to the Crusaders in France, where our game also goes. We're trying to tie that all together into a nice, neat package. Drake only had half the clues. Lawrence only had half. We and Marlowe has nothing. So Francis Drake, uh, when, when he completed that circumnavigation of the globe, the queen uh, knighted him, and uh, she, she, uh, she gave him a, a motto, and it was Sic Parvis Magna, which means greatness from small beginnings. I guess uh, uh, Drake's, Sir Francis Drake's uh, lineage was not, was not at all that great, but he, he rose to greatness. It is the dream of a dreamer, mirage of the desert. A cup of death will be filled for thee. It's all in English. That must have been dream. Here we go. Same with T.E. Lawrence. Uh, T.E. Lawrence's uh, surname was, was, was an assumed name. It wasn't his, he, he, he wasn't a, a Lawrence. He, uh, he had very humble beginnings and yet became this Lawrence of Arabia. Uh, so sort of made a lot out of, out of his small beginnings as well. And, and, and really this, the same thing kind of goes for, for Nathan Drake. Uh, that 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 he he sort of aspires to, to greatness and, and wants to to un unravel these mysteries of the world. You're gonna keep going, aren't you? For what? Treasure? Hang on, I got you. All three of these of these men and three points in history all had this sort of common common theme, this common background, and it's it's a nice intersection to have them all kind of converge in this in this place. Admit it. You love all this as much as I do. For a dull moment, huh, Sully? <laughs> Why change now? T. Lawrence was obsessed with the Crusades and the Knights uh, as, a young, as a young lad, and he, uh, he traveled all around France and Syria, checking out Crusader castles, and that's really what got his, uh, his interest in, into, uh, into the Middle East. He was, uh, he was here in Arabia during World War I, and when he finally went back to England, he said that if he, ever, if he ever had a chance to go back to Arabia, he would look for this place called the Atlantis of the Sands. He actually coined that term. Uh, it was known as uh, uh, Iram and Ubar and the city of brass, and he was convinced that it was, it was in the Arabian Peninsula, um, actually near Yemen. But so this, this was a big touchstone for us with Uncharted 3. I mean, we used a lot of reference from this area to uh, model the backgrounds and, and a lot of the other uh, scenery that takes place in the game. And it's, it looks like it does in the game. It's one of the things that we like to do with these games is ground them in some real reality. And uh, we refer to it as a, it's, uh, it passes the Google test, basically. If you wanted to search for T.E. Lawrence and you wanted to search for uh, the lost city of brass, that's all there, that, that's, that's, that's fact. And then we use that as our, as our jumping off point to, to create sort of the, the fiction of, of the game. 